perfect. Lights out, all I do is say so. Emily and this is Hippie Noir. Today we are just gonna be doing a get ready with me. I'm just gonna use some new products that I just got and just do a full face of makeup because I thought why the fuck not. So let's get into it. I just got these two new primers that we're gonna use. It's the e.l.f. One is the luminous putty primer and the other one is the poreless putty primer. So let's take the poreless one first. And I'm just gonna like rub my finger in here because I've never used this before, but so I'm just gonna put a little bit on my nose and on my cheeks where I have pores. And now a luminous primer. Then I'm going to take my favorite like spray primer, which is the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water. Oh, feels so nice. That stuff is the best. I recommend that so hard. But I am going to mix them together. The It Cosmetics CC Cr Illumination Cream. So not the regular, the illuminating one. And I got the NARS Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation. The CC Cosmetics one is pretty thick, while the NARS one is really liquidy. So I'm just going to mix them together. And hopefully that'll get a good consistency. I think I did way too much, just so. Go through her. I'm just gonna take this stippling brush that I use to apply my foundations as I always do and take a beauty blender. I think I took way too much foundation but that's okay because you know you live and you learn. All right, well, first impressions, beautiful together. I'd probably go a little lighter hand next time, but that's okay. I've literally been using these microblade pens for my eyebrows since I made the video on them. So if you guys want to know my real thoughts on these, go to that video. It's my first impression, but I do highly recommend these. So we are going to try this Milani Contour and Highlight Cream and Liquid Duo. I really care mostly about the contour stick and we're just going to contour before we do our under eye thing because we're going to have to set that and I just don't want it to get involved. I have used this once before so it's not completely a, like a first impression. I think this is a really good shade if you are pale. Blends out super easy. Now let's do the under eyes. I'm using my usual It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye in light. You can use this with a brush. I tend to use it with fingers because I think that it blends out better. I don't have much to talk about. Um, I did take like a month off from YouTube. My friend was moving, which made me sad, even though she's like a half hour away and, not, and no longer five minutes. Like, that's the only difference. I'm still a sad. 
But I am back now and I am ready to really get into this. I have changed my schedule like ever so slightly. Instead of beauty videos on Thursdays, they're gonna be on Fridays. And instead of weed videos being on Fridays, they're gonna be on Thursdays. So I'm just switching those basically. I just found it easier that way. Now I'm taking the e.l.f. under eye setting powder, which is the best under eye setting powder. I don't think I'll try another one anytime soon unless somebody like super recommends it or like super makes me. I'm gonna spray my face one more time. Let's move on to the eyes. I have no idea what I'm gonna do, so let's just wing it. I'm gonna take the powder blush by NYX in taupe. And I'm just gonna first put that in my crease. Okay, we're gonna do like a smoky eye. I'm gonna take from the Naked Basics palette, I'm gonna take Faint and Craze. I'm gonna mix those two together. I'm only mixing in a little bit of Crave the Black because I just want this to be a dark, dark brown. I don't want it to be black. So we're just putting that on the lid. I always recommend having like a like a loose I this is a stippling brush that I used to use for a uh, blush, but it's great to swipe away a uh, fallout. You can either go back in with taupe or if you want to use naked two that's in the naked basics palette, that's also fine. I just don't have a lot of naked two left, so I'm just using the taupe. That's what's really easy about smoky eyes is that instead of doing like light on the lid and then darken the crease like most other makeup if you're not doing smoky eyes, but you just reverse that if it's smoky eye, you just do the dark on your lid and then the crease, you have the lighter shade. Like it's super easy. You don't have to overthink. So I'm gonna mix most, it's mostly Fox with a little bit of Venus. I'm just putting that in. in here and that's literally just to make sure that it doesn't look so bright like see how subtle it is like you can barely tell that I put anything it just lightened it up that much now a mistake that I see a lot of people make that um, is rough is that they put a too dark of an eyeshadow underneath their eye when you're doing eyeshadow like this, you don't need the darker color under your eye. It'll look dark just because it's under your eye, I promise. This is a weird, like, weird reference, but the makeup artist, whoever it was, I don't mean to call out the makeup artist or whatever, but whoever did Jennifer Love Hewitt's makeup on Criminal Minds, she they put dark underneath her eyes, like, so much, and it's like, just use the lighter color. So I'm mixing a little bit of Naked 2 and Faint. See, it looks like I put the dark underneath, but it didn't. So it's not gonna seem as dark. Now I'm gonna just take the MAC Melba blush and I'm just gonna use a little blush brush. I try to not be too heavy handed. So I'm gonna take the Nick Taupe blush that we used on the eyes. We're just gonna use that to powder over our cream contour. I'm gonna take the Mary Luminizer. I'm gonna go in with the L'Oreal Voluminous Butterfly Waterproof Mascara. I always get the blackest shade that you can get. I think I'm gonna go for a nude lip.
All right, guys, this is the final look. I hope you enjoyed. I hope the lighting is okay. I'm still trying to work through it. I will link everything in the description below, so make sure that you open that and check that out. Please subscribe to this channel if you liked this video. Thursdays I put out wee videos, Fridays I put out beauty videos, and Sundays I put out coffee talks where I talk about any topic that I want or anything that you guys suggest. So leave your ideas below and make sure that you subscribe. All right. Bye. Lights out.